Hi Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do a cartomancy quickie for you. I'm using the regular playing cards. Oops, they're all upside down. And it's a bit of a different spread too. Just a quick reading. Um, I use a clock spread, so there's uh, 12 cards plus one extra. And um, woo, we got a jumper there. Ten of Diamonds. Real nice card. So that's financially secure, stable, um, c comfort, creature comforts. Um, but it's also completion. You know, tens are completion. This is coming to an end, which means you're going to begin something new. New is on the horizon. What am I doing? What am I doing? So I'm just laying them out here for you, and then you, I'll let you have a look at what the layout looks like. There we go. So you actually got two extra cards, that, that jumper there, and then your extra, your extra, extra. All right, let's just get them nice and neat here. Da 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 da. So, there we go. So I actually put the first card down here in the nine position, if you're thinking about the clock, you know. So, and these first three cards are what's happening now for you. This is your immediate, um, uh, present like what's coming right up right away sometimes this is your also your achievements pile this is your influences this is your final outcome you know in a week and um, then you have your extra cards here so there we go so your first three cards king spades nine of spades eight of clubs all right so the King of Spades, um, it, that's a dark-eyed man, um, very dark-eyed, dark brown or black eyes. He could have darker skin tone as well. Um, he could be blonde with dark eyes like that, but it's the eyes, right? Anyway, uh, there's some health problems with this person. Uh, you could be talking with him or talking with health professionals. Also, he could work in the health field. You know, this could be talking with someone in the health field. Um, also, it could be what you're working at. You're trying to get a job in the health field. This could be you, Virgo, this King of Spades. Or it could be someone you know or you're helping, you know, um, get into the health field, okay? Because you got that work card there, that work talk. So the next card you have is the Six of Hearts, whoops, Five of Spades, and the Four of Hearts. Hmm. Um, it looks like there's an obstacle. You're trying to take steps in love. You're trying to take a relationship further, develop it more you know, take the next step, move it to the next level. But there's some sort of delay, some sort of obstacle. Um, hmm. There's an obstacle and it's something that happened at a gathering. You're at a gathering, it could have been a party, it could have been a, a work thing. And, um, you know, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. I think you may move in together is what I'm thinking. But there's some sort of delay. It could be financial. Like someone has an obstacle. They can't do it yet for some reason. Okay. Um, they've suffered some sort of a loss. It could be, um, you know, they had to pay on their taxes instead of getting money back this year or something like that okay 
Um, then you have the two of spades, the three of diamonds, and the three of spades. So, hmm, let me have a look, see here. It looks like um, there the twos are a breakup. Usually, this is to, you know going in separate directions, right? Going in different directions, and and then the three of diamonds is um, you know it's kind of like everything. It's kind of like the engagement uh, um, card. It's, you know, like the first big step, a celebration card. But then there's the three of spades. And this is an obstacle. There... Hmm... I think it's financial. There's something financial that is the obstacle here, and and it was in this in this last pile too. Um, I I you know, someone could have. I think there's a financial loss, a financial obstacle to, and and you know, th that other person or yourself might be thinking, I need to put in my share. Or I can't do this. I'm not letting you support me or I'm not supporting you perhaps you know maybe that's the deal you're th thinking I'm not doing that I'm not getting into that so these last four cards this last bunch is four cards and you have the two of diamonds the king of hearts the ten of hearts and the seven of clubs the two of diamonds is a business meeting this is usually a financial probably with a lender of some sort and um, the King of Hearts is a blue-eyed man. He's friendly, he's helpful, he's kind, he's, um, he's really friendly, you know. Also, the Ten of Hearts is joy, happiness, everything's coming together. Um, I get the feeling you're moving, though. You got two tens here. And um, now, even though... Like the uh, things are starting to turn around. Things are starting to look good. The obs the obstacles are being lifted. Okay, you're, there is relief to come, even though you're kind of worried. Like, is this just a, a calm before the storm? Like, I think you're still on tender hooks, kind of thing. But it looks very successful as it's winding up. Um, and like I said, I get a feeling your move here. I'm not sure, like, you know, and I talked back here about moving in some with someone and there's some sort of financial obstacle here. Well, um, it could have to do with the sale of a house or it could have to do something like that or a separation of someone else in order for you guys to be together, something like that. Um, so there's some sort of obstacle or delay on that with the with the funds with the money. Um, oh yeah, I put my hair in curlers last night, <laughs> and just to see what it would look like. And now I look like Kitty from that '70s show. <laughs> look at it. look like a mom. That's okay. I am a mom. Anyway, Virgo, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm available for personal readings and all the details are in the description box below. Um, I'd like to hear if this resonated uh, for you or not. This cartomancy reading, you can comment if you want. I read all comments um, and I really enjoy them, to tell you the truth. Uh, so let me know. Anyway, take care. I will be having my June uh, readings out this week. Okay, bye.